Hello everyone and welcome to week three. This week we're going to start our study of JavaScript. Um, JavaScript is the programming language that will take us through the entire end of this course. So we're going to start to get our feet wet. Now, in order to take this course, you are supposed to have taken CS 111, 110 and 111, which would have gotten you into C++ and um, possibly other programming languages. So some of the concepts we discuss are going to be review. The syntax is going to be new, but the concept should be a review. The objectives for this week are we're going to use the Chrome Dev Console to run JavaScript. We've already looked at that and used it to evaluate and inspect our HTML and CSS, but I'm going to show you how you can use it to run JavaScript and use it to kind of test your JavaScript. We're going to understand the five JavaScript primitives. We're going to create variables and constants in JavaScript. We're going to use the built-in methods console.log, alert, and prompt. We're going to evaluate mathematical expressions in JavaScript. You can do math in JavaScript. You can do some pretty advanced math in JavaScript. I'm going to show you how you can do that. We're going to add logic to programs using conditionals and booleans. When I say conditionals, I'm talking about less than, greater than, is equal to, is not equal to, so on and so forth. Booleans being true or false. And we're also going to learn about two of the loops in JavaScript, the while loop and the for loop. And we're going to use those to write dry code. If you'll remember, dry stands for don't repeat yourself. So we're going to use while and for loops in order to reduce the amount of code we actually have to write and yet still get the job done. So I'm looking forward to this week. We're finally getting into the stuff that I'm actually pretty good at. So hopefully it'll be a little bit better than the first couple of weeks, which is stuff that I'm not very good at. Thank you much. And if you have any questions, as always, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.